Hello everybody, welcome back to Dragon Age 2, where we happen to be staring at Meryl's backside. You know what I was just thinking? I was wondering if maybe the fade is the way it is. Soon. If the fade is the way it is, like, Anders is like, it's obviously separated into the demons or different sins and blah blah blah. And she's like, well, it's just a place with, you know, inhabitants. And I wonder if it's that way because that's the way they imagine it is. You know what I mean? Like, the fade could be anything. Way into the gallows. It's a secret that has saved the lives of hundreds of mages. Hundreds? Jeez Louise. Um. Well, I, I've actually used this route frequently. This is some oh. of the most expensive real estate in Kirkwall. Usually paid for in body parts. Jeez. Have I mentioned that I don't really like it here? Oh, God damn. I'm trying to get into here. Gallows. It's a secret that has saved Why? the lives of hundreds of mages. No, Varric. This is it. This tunnel will take us into the gallows. Are you ready to help me find evidence of the tranquil solution? Are you ready to? <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. She's like, ah, secrets. I've used this route a lot. It takes me to a smuggler's den and all this stuff. Oh, okay. Who should we freaking bring? I almost want to bring Isabella and Meryl. You know? I don't know. I guess I can come back if I don't like the... what happens. I'd kind of like to bring Aveline because I think she'd like helping people, but it's going kind of against the law, even if the law is bad, you know? So... Let's see. I'm curious to see what Isabella is going to say anyway. You know what I mean? Yeah, the freaking assassins, they like... flank you no matter what you do. Pa. If we find evidence of Sir Auric's plan, I'm taking it straight to the Grand Cleric. I... She will not be able to claim neutrality then. I don't think you should. I think somebody else should. And how'd you get this? Oh, you know, just, uh, meh, meh, meh. I have personally led five mages to freedom through these tunnels. They bent to kiss the ground through the sewage. Okay. Have you ever been out in the open ocean in a storm? It's the best feeling in the world. Sometimes a part of me just kind of wants to punch mages. I know that's horrible, but and maybe it comes from doing Inquisition, but I just felt like they were so whiny. And I know they've got it. They're coming from a hard place and whatever. But... And maybe it's just like that argument where it's like, you know, oh, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. But it's like the situation that you find yourself in, like, that... The way you've been raised to believe, like, it, it's a mental prison almost, you know? Like, it, it can be. Like that, he just rolls in the dirt. So, so I understand that it's like all in their head, which means, doesn't mean it's any worse, but it's also a physical restraint. But I'm like, you guys have like the forces of the fade and nature at your fingertips. And, but like, why can't they do anything, you know? But again, it's the situation they're in. It's, it's they can't they're born into this and it's almost unavoidable for them in a way and i mean i don't i don't know it's just it's 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 complicated i did get advice at one point if i want meryl to do the dalish pariah thing that to put points in the constitution because that will help her from dying but uh so i'll probably for her focus on Magic and constitution. Yeah, actually, we'll put one in a magic and two in the constitution. Because she also tends to be like frontline, like, woohoo, let's go. And I'm like, what are you doing? Okay, that's cool, except for the drawing enemies to her thing. 
I don't really care about these. Like, I don't want her to have to come to my aid or... I mean, it's cool. But at this point, I'm kind of like, meh. Entropy. I kind of want to give her entropy. But maybe we'll give her... We'll give her petrify. And then eventually we'll get, we'll get her the... Uh, Um, the other, the, like, primal, full-on, woody hooty ability. <laughs> the passive ability, that means your, your, your primal abilities are really cool. Alright, so far we haven't encountered anybody. I really hope we don't. I really hope it's just a nice, peaceful run. Because this place is supposed to be, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. <laughs> Who did I... Okay, I did you two. I did... And Isabella. Isabella should be fine. Meryl should be fine. Or she is... Eh, yeah. Oh, and I could do the Brother's End now. Uh... I might actually give that to Fenris. I like the healing one on Oathbreaker. Plus, I can put something on it, so... I'll need to do that at some point. Okay. Oh boy! They're on- what? Who? Dwarf mercenary, dwarf smuggler. Who is yelling? Let's you know, we're not after you. We could have all just left each other in peace and quiet and been fine. But no, you guys are like, we are all offended. Now you fall. That'd be kind of funny to be like, no, we weren't here for you. But we'll kill you anyway. <laughs> you know? And they're like, what? And I'm like, yep. Sorry about that. Out of range. Yeah, out of range. What was that? Hey, oh, doggy. Oh, archer. Freaking archer. I hate archers. Lyrium smuggler archer. Oh, boy. You died quick. Oh, grandmother. Is that about grandmother? Oh, shoot. Dang it. Nicely done. Whoa. Lyrium smugglers built these tunnels to service the Templars who crave the stuff. Oh. Why can't they just buy it normally? Wait, what? The one true pantaloons? What? Trousers of a rather inflated variety, cut short to fit a dwarf, or perhaps in case of flood. Fit for high town, impeccable in quality. The one true pantaloons! That's awesome. That is, oh, that is hilarious. Anders, you, my friend, you need... Willpower and magic. Magic. Uh, yeah. Because he casts, like, health stuff, so he needs a lot of willpower. But he doesn't really die. What's this? Oh, I don't want that one. That is cool, though! Oh, but vengeance has to be active, and I don't- we don't activate vengeance much. Maybe... What else does he have? Oh yeah, he has that. Ooh. Oh, boy. I do kind of want this. Uh, because, because we don't have Bethany anymore. I mean, this was kind of, I kind of had Bethany doing this stuff, but we could, but well, maybe we'll get this. That would be good. And look at Andrews, we're basically palsies, like, forever. Best friends forever. This is gonna, this is gonna set us in stone. Which way are we going? Dwarf mercenary. We're going. We're going this way. I see something shiny. 
I don't have Fenris here to eat my potion, my stamina potions like candy. I think we're going this way. I guess either way it kind of rounds around. Right? Okay. Oh. <gasps> Freaking! <laughs> Take that! Oh, maybe that one. And that one. Don't try to scare me. Don't try to scare me. Wow, you got that in real. Holy crap! Freaking Isabella is tearing people apart. She is the best. Bring her on every difficult battle we have. She is like, she is eating people alive. Someone died in front of the deep mushroom. Well, okay, it's about time, Isabella. Um, do I, we'll put one on the cunning. And willpower, maybe? And dexterity. Yeah. Uh, oh, what? Okay. I think we were pretty good on this. Erodes. Whoa! Feeling stunned. Oh, cool. <laughs> Ooh, critical chance and stuff. I do kind of want to get her. Another one of these done. Ooh, that would be cool. Using backstab. Ooh, so we could cool down. Backstab. Ooh, vanishes into a smoke screen. Or. Ooh, ooh, that. Ooh. Oh, let's just do this one. Yeah. Okay, now where are we going? I got turned around. I just want to make sure there's nothing glowing anywhere. For me to have. Just follow the glowing path. Amulet. I may, oh shoot, um, for accessories, yeah, um, oh, I'll give you the talisman of Sarabas, or anybody, well, no, yeah, that one would be better, I think. Oh, that's like the same thing. And belt of the chastened. Let's see what else we have. Oh, yeah, have that. Toss that. Oh, shoot, I haven't sold anything. Dang it. <laughs> Ring. Um, here, have that one. What did that one take away? Nope. Um. Oh. Okay, was that what I wanted? I think so. Isabella is not good. I have that. I don't even know. Ring. Your amulet's no good. Have that one instead. Um, have another ring. Oh, shoot. Uh, you are a blood mage. You can have that. And that's it. That's all you get. <laughs> okay, maybe there will be a shopkeeper in here. <laughs> what was that, man? It's just like, oh, 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 oh. I'm like watching Isabella right now. She's like, oh, you're the foreman. 
I think it's over. I don't have to do anything. Isabella, she just she just does everything. Um Okay. Keep going. We're almost there yet, Anders. Corpses everywhere. Oh, hey. You're the foreman. What? You're in smuggler foreman. If you're a smuggler, I don't think you'd be a foreman. Oh. Oh, that was easy. Thanks for the health potions. Apparently, we're going to a very horrible place. Oh, I recognize this place. This is the one we just went, this is the dungeon we just went down for the black powder promise. For the black powder something or other. Oh. Some shiny? No? Okay. Oh boy! Oh boy! Please. I haven't done anything wrong. That's a lie. What do we do to <gasps> mages who lie? He has eyes like mine! I just wanted to see my mom. No one ever told her where they were taking me. <gasps> Uh-oh. No. Uh-oh. No, this is their place. We cannot... So, you admit your attempted escape. You know what happens to mage girls who don't toe what? the line around here? Why aren't we attacking right now? Please, no! Don't make me tranquil. I'll do anything. That's right. Once you're tranquil, oh, you'll shoot. do anything I ask. Uh. Oh, let's. See. Um. I kind of want to be like, what's going on here? What are you doing to that girl? You feel <gasps> oh shoot! He tried. He tried. He tried. It did not work. That's enough. Come on. Oh, Anders. What's he? What's he doing right now? Where's Anders? He's standing right next to that girl for a second. I'm really glad I don't have like lateral damage. I think I'm hitting Sir Ulrich. That's my my goal. But there's so many guys behind me, I can't tell. It's hard to see. Come on! Oh, my helper is getting low. Okay. Anders is not in the healing mood right now. You're annoying. You have no bow. He's just firing arrows. With his hands, with his mind. He's secretly a mage. They will die. Oh. I will have every last Templar for these abuses. Uh. It's over, Anders. They're all dead. Every one of them will feel justice's burn. Get away from me, demon. I am no demon. Are you one Anders, of Anders, calm you down. Anders, that girl is a mage. We rescued her from being made tranquil. She is theirs. I can feel their. It's own not life. her fault! She's the reason you're fighting, Anders. Don't turn on her now. Please, Messer. Anders. Oh no. Oh no. Baker, no. I almost. If you weren't here, I I need to get out of here. Oh no. Oh no. Can Justice not tell the difference between how could he not? Alaric's papers. To Our Excellency Divine Justinia, I am well aware both you and Knight Commander Meredith have rejected my proposal. Well then how come she lets him make everyone tranquil? 
But I beg you to reconsider. The mages and the free marchers are past controlling. The numbers have doubled in three years, and they have found a way to plant their abominations in our ranks. They cannot be contained. The tranquil solution is your answer. Otto. I knew. There was a... We met a Sir Otto, I think, in Origins. All mages at the age of majority must be made tranquil. They'll coexist peacefully, retain their usefulness, a perfect strategy. It's simply the best way to ensure mages obey the laws of men and maker. He's a sick man. I am not sorry he's dead. That was unacceptable. Like, I don't care if I call mages whiny or whatever. Like, that... That's why! They fear that. And so, you know... They, they react kind of the... Ooh, cool. What is that? <laughs> they react by maybe being, like, whining, like, why is this happening to me? But it's like... It's like... I don't think there are many people who would react better. You know what I mean? So I feel... Not going to oh. happen. Oh, and I don't have Varric with me. I feel great sympathy for them. I don't think all mages... Ooh, an enigma. All mages are not these poor, sympathetic individuals, but the ones that suffer because of the actions of a few are a way outweigh the others, you know? A maze of cav caves, sewers, and hidden passages. We found three adventure chambers already looted, but today, tonight, we found one closed. It was a small cell containing a few trinkets and a common tome, but it symbolizes hope. The magistrates had hundreds of mages deep below Kirkwall. They lived and researched here, far from the scrutiny of common men. Many ancient cities specialized in arcane research, but why did Kirkwall hide its efforts here? Why go to great pains to keep it out of sight? Were they a cabal of renegade magisters, or was this a special project of the Archon? That is interesting. I want this to bear fruit one day. I hope I'm finding all the, uh... All the entries. Alright, and I got Sir Alric's papers. Okay. So it looks like we have to go talk to Anders now. Oh, that's not good. If I was... I was kind of counting on justice... Being the one who kept his head, you, almost. You saved my life, Monsieur. What was that thing? He's no demon. Just a deeply troubled man. Can I go home now? Go somewhere safe. Find your parents, but don't stay there. You must leave Kirkwall. I know. There's nowhere in the city where Sir Ulrich's men won't find me. Well, Sir Ulrich Thank is dead. Thank you, Monsieur. Andraste herself must have put you in that room. Anders put me in that room. Justice ruined things. I was expect I was expecting Justice to keep his head better than that. I really was. I was thinking Anders was the one who was going to lose it at some point. But apparently it's Justice. Die. Make room... That, that throws a, a wrench in the, uh, I don't know, just, it just, it, I don't know what it does, but it certainly does, it does something. It changes how I thought the situation was going to maybe play out or something, I don't know. Um, alright girls, time to go have a chat with Anders. Let me save really quick. I know we just popped out, but... Trash. Trash. Keep... Oh, he's gonna run away. Trash. Trash. Won't be needing that anymore. This is all Sir Ulrich had. Looks like the Tranquil Solution began and ended with him. Let me see that. The Divine rejected the idea. Meredith rejected the idea. This was not what I expected. They couldn't, they couldn't Perhaps let this I happen. I should try talking to the Grand Cleric. Don't do it! Maybe she's more reasonable than I thought. Don't talk, don't do it! Thank you. I will think on what you've said. Is that it? Updated. We have a new quest. Wait, what? Are you still- what are you doing? Are you still moving? Putting out milk. Oh. I miss having a cat around. 
but I think the refugees have scared them all off. <laughs> or maybe eaten them. You know, I've been meaning to thank you. You don't need to stick your neck out for the mages here. But you have. You let those apostates from Starkhaven start over. Maybe they can be an example for the world. I root for the little guy. I'm doing it for you. Um... What? I've always had a thing for scrapping. <laughs> I've tried to hold back. <laughs> you saw what I almost did to that girl. You've seen what I am. But I'm still a man. You can't tease me like this and expect me to resist forever. <laughs> How long will it take to <laughs> drive you mad? <laughs> <laughs> it's the noises! It's so funny! This will be a disaster. But I can't live without it. We could die tomorrow. I don't want it to be before I tell you how I feel. <laughs> Ooh, is it inverse? <laughs> I hope it's inverse. Oh, I thought with justice, <laughs> this part of me was over. I can't give you a normal life. If you're with me, we'll be hunted, hated. The whole world will Sounds be Sounds like us. a plan. If your door is open tonight, Whoa! I will come to you. Whoa! If not, I'll know you took my warning at last. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I can't go on like this. What? Oh, is it the... It's... It's not like the situation with us, right? It's... He's... It's this. Being hunted and... I don't know. Afraid? I can't go on like this. Oh, man. <gasps> Or with the justice. Oh, I don't think it's with the me and him thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, Anders. <laughs> Anders, I'm so sorry for what you have to go through. Well, time to go to bed, girls. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Just gotta get it over with, okay? Well, let's see what Marilyn and Isabella will say. You've had many lovers, haven't you? Fewer than some think. Ooh. But you never stay with them. No, why should I? But the act of lovemaking is so... intimate. I don't make love. What I do is only skin deep, kitten. Don't worry your pretty little head about it. Oh, I hope she's okay. I once knew a sailor like you. We lost him in a hurricane. I will get you a ship Very and a soon. bottle, Isabella, and you will love it. You will love it. Okie dokie, Smokies, are we ready to go? I have to keep an eye on my computer now for sure to make sure this doesn't explode halfway. I will be so angry if it does! My mom lives with me, Anders, you know? Oh shoot, it's like, is it like right now? Like right now. It is right now, it You're is- You're here. I wasn't sure you would come. Oh boy. Justice does not approve of my obsession with oh, you. Ah, shut up, Justice. I'm mad at he you. He believes you're a distraction. Shut up, Justice! <laughs> it is one of the few things on which he and I disagree. Hmm. Uh, should I just say I'm glad? I kind of want to ask, though. So he's kind of <laughs> an unwilling participant in our threesome. I was wondering. Please don't call it that. <laughs> When I was in the circle, love was only a game. It gave the Templars too much power if there was something you couldn't stand to lose. It would kill me to lose you. This isn't going to fix that. No mage I know has ever dared to fall in love. This is the rule I will most cherish breaking. Me in my little robe. Hawk is very forward. <laughs> Just gonna cut away like Mass Effect 2? Where you kiss? Okay, now you can cut away for sure. This is like just weird at this point. 
Yes! Good. I love you. No! <gasps> I've been holding back from saying that. You should have a normal life. Not be tied down normal to a fugitive Normal is so no overrated, future. Anders. But I don't ever want to leave you. <laughs> forever <laughs> basically the three moods of a woman i love you i'm hungry leave me alone <laughs> oh, <laughs> sums up everything perfectly should i be serious right now or should i <laughs> he's being serious maybe maybe hawk will let down her guard just for a minute don't ever leave do you mean that? Would you have me here? Living with I'll you? I'll keep you safe here. Would you tell the world, the Night Commander, that you Why live in not? a state and you will stand beside him? Hawk! Hawk doesn't care what anybody else thinks. I want you right here. Until the day we die. Together. For three years, I have lain awake three every years. night aching for you. Oh, the, oh, okay. I'm still terrified I'll wake up. You have held back remarkably well, my good man. Hawk is just... She's a fine young thing. He's actually much older than her, I think. He's in, like... Late 30s, 40s at this point? And she's... 28? Now? She was 25, right? Now she's 28? Well, that... Was adorable. That was adorable. Poor Prince. Yeah, another threesome. I told him to stay off the bed. We crude drawings in the market. Isabella. Oh, what's the, Isabella was this here before? And as may have talent, <laughs> but playing the lute isn't one of them. Oh, what's this over here? Uh, I think I'll let Sandal empty that. Is that the chamber pot? Oh my gosh, you keep that in your room? Lots of old things from Lothering in there. Is there anything else? That was a, that was really nice though, you guys. That was really good. Like, like what now? It's just like, oh hey, now time to just act like everything's all normal and fine and dandy. I wonder where Varric is today. Telling stories about my exploits to anyone. You who just, you just, likely. you just did the deed with Anders, and you look out a window and think about it, Varric. <laughs> uh, I wonder if Anders is doing that. Someone swinging on the chandelier. Oh, I forgot. Okay, well, I guess I will call it here, just in case. Uh, I don't want the recording to explode or anything. And that was, that was really cute. It wasn't overdone. Like none of the sentiments were too sappy. And I like that at the end, I, she's been joking this whole time. But she told him, not "I love you," but she said, "Don't ever leave," which I freaking think was perfect it was perfect for the moment and for her personality and she let him see just a little bit under the under bit under the sarcastic charming shell she keeps i think so i am completely satisfied with that that was fantastic i love the dialogue and everything and it was funny but not too funny <laughs> but the one the dialogue wheel i'm gonna keep that forever i'm gonna like put it on my phone and if, oh man, if ever I'm in a mood, I'm just gonna like hold up the phone and to somebody and say, pick one. <laughs> you only get one. <laughs> but anyway, thank you guys for joining me. I hope you're okay with this. I still haven't really gotten your opinion on Anders yet, so we'll see. <laughs> but thanks again. I'll see you in the next one.